All right, so I want to do an example talking about logarithmic differentiation here. So let's first off remember some uh, rules about logs themselves. We know that y equals log base ax is exactly the same thing as x equals a to the y. Okay, cool. That's pretty simple, right? So from this we can infer that if x equals a to the y, then x prime using implicit differentiation is just gonna be, well you guessed it, a to the y prime. So we use this in a, as an equation. We can say x prime is 1 because we're doing this implicitly and not uh, differentiating with respect to x. So 1 is going to equal a to the y ln a natural log, right, times y prime. And, of course, the natural log is just ln is the same thing as log base e of, some, of x of some variable. So that's a nice little aside there. So back to our math, we have 1 equals a to the y ln a times y prime. So this means that y prime equals 1 over a to the y ln a. Or we can say that y prime equals 1 over x ln a, right? Okay, so pretty cool. These are some simple things for our review. So by this logic we can say that d dx of log a to the x is equal to 1 over x ln a. So by this we can say the derivative of ln x is just equal to 1 over x, which is going to be crazy useful for us, right? Because the natural log of e is just 1. All right. So this is, this is information for us that's going to be useful uh, when we go ahead and jump into a, under the problem. So we've got, we've got this information in our arsenal that's going to be useful for us now that we start an actual problem. So what if, I, what if I'm giving you this just awful function, this really terrible function. We know that y prime, right, in this case, because the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, then y prime is just 1 over e to the x, or, or 1 over x if x equals e to the y, right? So, uh, uh, going, you know, inverse back and forth. These are inverse functions. So let's, let's look at y equals this, this horrible big rational x squared tan cubed x over 1 minus secant x, x squared. Now, if that, that's a beautiful function, but man, it sure does look ugly in the beginning, doesn't it? This is, this looks like it's just going to be nasty. If I said, all right, let's do the quotient rule, we can figure out what the derivative of this is. Well, oh my gosh, if we have to do the quotient rule, then, well, on the bottom, we're going to have to first use the, like, we're going to have to use the product rule here and find out that derivative, and then we're going to have to use the difference rule to find out that derivative minus whatever this prime was, and then on the top, we have x squared tan cubed x, so we're going to have to figure out the derivative of tan cubed x, which is going to be really bad, and then we're going to have to figure out the derivative of x squared times tan cubed x using the product rule, and then once we have these two big nasty derivatives, then we get to put all of this into the quotient rule, and all of this is still going to be when we have just our regular f and g. All this is still going to be up there, so this is just horrible. It would take us hours, and it would, you know, leave tons of room for error, so taking log is the great idea here. So like I said, since that's horrible, what is a good plan of action here? What can we do to make our lives easier? Well, all right, let's take log of both sides. Well, log of the left side, that's not going to be a problem, is it? That's going to be ln y. Oop, wrong pen. That's going to be just ln y, right? Okay, not a big deal. Now we're going to need to take log of the right side. Now, of course, uh, well, let's move this down a little bit because we're going to need some room. Uh, the uh, what log... Uh, when you use logarithms, logarithms take these quotients and they turn them into uh, differences, right? So instead of dividing now, we're just subtracting. So we have ln y on the left, like we said, which is equal to, all right, now ln x squared. I think a big mistake 
and uh, let me just go ahead and interject this. A big mistake, and one I certainly made a lot, uh, when using logarithms to uh, to differentiate functions, to make functions easier to differentiate, when you're taking log of each side, you sometimes you go ahead and you and you you differentiate things that you think are easy to differentiate in uh, and while you're taking log. So I would say, oh, okay, so ln y equals uh, ln of 2x. And this is a bad idea. Just just don't do that. You'll, you'll make terrible mistakes. So just take log of everything, then worry about differentiating. So we have ln of x squared plus ln of 10x cubed minus... At the bottom, we have the ln of 1 minus secant x times x squared. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, let's use the beauty of logs to do a couple of tricks here. Well, we can pull this 2 down right in front of that. We can uh, pull this 3 down here. And because exponents always exponents become coefficients with logs, so that's the uh, the beauty of this. So let's go ahead and but not all exponents. Let's not touch this one right now. So let's rewrite this. Now we have that ln y is equal to two ln x plus three ln tan x minus ln 1 minus x squared secant x. I'm just going ahead and combining everything here and not skipping a couple steps. So we've combined some stuff here. x squared secant x. All right, now let's go ahead and start taking prime. Well, x squared secant x is going to... Well, x squared secant x, let's just go ahead and, and take its prime up here and uh, have a little aside... So this isn't that difficult. We have x squared uh, secant x prime. Well, we're just going to use the product rule here and say x squared secant x, x squared prime secant x. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a new page for this, my bad, guys. Let's go do this on another page. So we want x squared secant x prime. We're going to use the product rule and say x squared prime secant x plus x squared secant x prime, which is going to turn into this 2x secant x plus x squared secant x tan x. Okay, so here is that derivative. That's, that's great news for us. We've got that. All right, so we've taken that prime, so let's go ahead and... Uh, and start plugging things in. Let's go ahead and, do, and uh, call this ln y just to y prime over y, right? Because we can start differentiating like that. So we're going to say, yep, wrong pen, okay. y prime over y is equal to 2 times 1 over x. Let's see. Yeah, let's, okay, 2 times 1 over x, right? Uh, plus 3 times 1 over tan x, plus 3 times 1 over tan x times secant x, secant squared x, it should be secant squared x minus, let's make it secant squared x minus 1 over 1 minus x squared secant x, so 1 over, uh, 1 minus x squared secant x. And then, of course, this is still going to continue to be multiplied by 1 minus x squared secant x prime. Right here and right here, 
these two things, these are just for using the chain rule. That's why that had to happen the way it did, okay? So, that's the reasoning behind that. So now that we have all this, let's go ahead and, and continue writing. <clears throat> so all of this is going to be equal to y prime over y. Let's multiply times y equals 2 over x. We'll multiply times y afterward. Okay, y over y prime. We'll just leave ourselves room. Equals... 2 over x plus 3 secant squared x over tan x plus mm, 2x secant x plus, yikes, x squared secant x tan x all over 1 minus x squared secant x, okay? Now let's multiply both sides of this. We'll multiply by y, multiply by y. We'll get rid of the y on the left, and we will just have that y prime is equal to 2 over x plus 3 secant squared x over 10 x plus 3 secant squared x over tangent x plus uh, 2x secant x plus x squared secant x tan x, plus x squared secant x tan x over should be 1 minus x squared secant x. 1 minus x squared secant x times, yikes, x squared... tan cubed x, I think it was. Hang on. x squared tan cubed x. We're, we're multiplying it by our original now. x squared tan cubed x over 1 minus secant x squared x squared. Okay, so x squared tan cubed. Let's make that actually legible. Tangent cubed x over 1 minus secant. No, nope. That's wrong. Hang on. 1 minus, okay, x squared secant x. Okay, cool, and so we will remind ourselves that this is just the original. Okay, so yeah, there we go, we're done. Uh, kind of anticlimactic there and, and pathetic, but uh, yeah, there we go. So our y prime is just 2 over x plus, let's make that a plus, uh, 3 secant squared x over x. Uh, you go 10x plus 2x secant x. <laughs> wow. Tan x uh, uh, over 1 minus so 2 secant x. Let's see, is this right? 2 secant x plus x squared. Yeah, x squared secant x. Tan x over 1 minus x squared secant x times x squared tan cubed x over 1 minus x squared secant x because that's our original. So there you go. That's all there is to this one.